What's going on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, people of Pokemon, Jeans fans, Jeans online gaming community, everybody who's watched this video, how you guys doing today? We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Chiron Black team, alongside with Cresselia, Heatran, and Landris. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel seriously it is amazing we're pushing it up on 8,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough but hopefully you guys like that new little intro I was just like yeah let me try something new just throw out a different little saying instead of saying the same old thing every time I start a video so there you guys go but rocking out on the scene we have Cresselia getting started in that top left corner it has that mental herb so it cannot be taunted right off the rip we also have levitate and then the moveset of moonblast helping hand trick room and moonlight for a little bit of HP recovery Right next to him, we have Heatran with that Flash Fire ability and the Shuka Berry as its item so it can actually eat up a ground move. We also have Protect, Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, and Earth Power as its moveset. I love this Pokemon. I think it's tanky. I think it can hit hard and do an all-around good job. Middle left, we have Amoongus, who is a great support mom with Regenerator, so we actually recover some HP. When we swap back into our party, we also have that Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. Protect, Rage Powder to protect the ally Pokemon, Spore to put Pokemon to sleep, and Clear Spog to change some stat changes if, say, if they're boosted up and get rolling. Right next to him, we have Landers with that Assault Fest Intimidate ability to drop physical attack, fly, EQ, rock slide, and you turn a pretty similar moveset to every other Landers that has been playing in this meta. Bottom left corner is going to be our restricted Pokemon, and that's going to be Chiron Black, and I don't think I showed off this Pokemon on the channel just yet. I know we showed off a uh, Chiron White, which is pretty dope, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe we did, maybe we haven't, but if not, today is the day that we're showing off. We have Terra Volt as our ability, then we have Life Orb as our item to hit way harder than we normally do. Dragon and Ice Sight with Protect, Dragon Claw, Freeze Shock, and Dual Wing Beat as our coverage move. Bottom right corner is our final mod, and that is going to be Rotom Wash over here, Water and Electric type. Protect, Nasty Pot Setup, Hydro Pump, and Thunderbolt for Stab. He also has Levitate Ability so we can't get hit by ground moves. And that Citrus Berry to give us a little bit more HP when we fall below half. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Kieran Black team. Hopping into battle number one, going up against a Kyogre team alongside with Pikachu. That's got to be G-Max Pikachu, Spectre, Tapu Lele, and uh, Incineroar, and Celesteela. Uh, who should I go into? How should I lead this one? I kind of want to get that Kyron Black rolling out here. He's pretty good. He's pretty nice. We don't really have anything to kind of go after his weather. So if he goes weather, that is tough. Does he have a Tailwind Mon? He doesn't. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Kyogre here. I think I might go Amoongus here as well. I think Amoongus is a great Mon. He can get rolling here and do some work. Uh, do I bring Intimidate out here? Hmm. I kind of want to. I kind of want to bring Intimidate. But he has, a lot of, he has a lot of special, so I don't think we're going to do it. I'm going to go Rotom. Then in the final spot, I think I'm still going to bring him. Considering he has that Soul Fest, we can rock out pretty well here. Yeah, we're going to get rolling with that. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What are you guys' favorite TV shows? Whether it be a cartoon, a sitcom, or like a series, anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I would love to know what shows you guys watch. And maybe there will be recommendations for me as well. So if you guys have recommendations for TV shows that you guys think are really, really good, let me know in the comment section down below. Personally, me, I don't watch too much TV or movies, but when I do, I do like to watch some series. My favorite series include Breaking Bad. That's like my top series. Stranger Things is really good. I watch Outer Banks uh, recently, and I'm watching All American right now, which is pretty solid. I think all those shows are solid, but Breaking Bad and Stranger Things are definitely my top two. Probably in that order, Breaking Bad's favorite show of all time. Of all time. But Stranger Things hasn't finished yet, so I can't really rank it on anything. But Kieran Black Shiny with that green? Oh, yo, it's looking spicy. It's looking real spicy. Um, I might... What should I do here? I was thinking of just going and changing weather. Go here. Oh, yo, this can actually paralyze. That's pretty dope. On the second turn, the user hits the target with electric charge. Okay, so it's a two-turn move. That's that what I was saying. But I am going to change up weather here. Go after his Pikachu. And I might just Rage Powder here. What do I protect? I could protect. Does this thing can fake out? I might just try to Spore up onto this Kyogre. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to Spore up on this Kyogre. I can see a Thunder coming from the Pikachu or maybe Dynamax. Because Thunder is going to hit 100% of the time in the rain. And he might just go for a Water Spout. So I'm just going to Dynamax. I'm going to change the weather up, cancel that out, and get rolling from there. So Kirum Black over here. And it is Ice type. It is Ice type. So it's awesome. We get a nice little stab damage boost going. And we get the roll from there. We get to get rolling from there. But yo, I haven't used a G Max Pikachu team in forever. And it's actually really strong. G Max Pikachu rocks out. And I think he's going for it. I think he's going for G Max Pikachu. Going for the G Max Full Crash. And uh, trying to get off that double paralyze. Is that your plan? 
It is, yo, and he gets to do the big peak noise. I love it. Wait for it. <laughs> yo, dude, it legit cracks up every single time. Just he just gets all bulky. He's like peak, baby. <laughs> peak. But we go first, we on speed, we get this hailstorm off, and we tell this thing to get out of our face. This thing is not bulky at all. It's always been like that. It hits like a truck, but it's not bulky at all. And we take it out in one shot, which is beautiful. And we change weather. So that's like a that's that's a two for one there. It's a win-win right there. No Dynamax. Don't have to worry about G-Max Bolt Crash. Get the weather change. Or is your pulse gonna do less damage? Both the Pokemon are able to eat. Amoonga's gonna put Kyogre to sleep. And what that, that's pretty much a wrap. That is pretty much a wrap for this game. What a first turn. What a first turn. We're getting rolling out here strong. Buffets are out and about, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, do I really worry about this Kyogre anymore? I don't think I really do. I think we just start piecing up the Pokemon on the right side. Depending on who he brings out. Let's see what you got, man. It's gonna be Incineroar? It could be. It's gonna be Tapu Lele. It's gonna be Lele. Stops the Psychic Surge. You have no Dynamax. Cannot go for my, uh, my Worm Winds. Actually, I mean, I could. It's always an option. Let's start boosting speed. Uh, but he could ally switch, which is a which is a problem. But I want to see if this thing's physical. It is physical attack. I'm thinking of just dropping a hailstorm onto you. Instead of a worm one. Let's go hailstorm and to clear smog. Or I'm actually just going to a swap out at this point and get out Rotom. Digging it, right? I'm digging that. Let's get rolling with that. Let's swap out a Moongus. He'll go back up to full health with the uh regenerator ability and we'll get out another attacker. So, we buzzing. I could actually plot set up. Let's just see what happens here. Hellstorm's gonna come through. We dropping it on the lay like Can we KO? Or at least do a decent amount of damage. Oh my. Oh! Yo! Kiram Black. Is it Kyrum or Kiram? I don't know. You guys are gonna hear me pronouncing it like multiple different ways today. But we are buzzing with him. That's two KOs right off the rip with this Hailstorm. We change up weather. And my Rotom's just gonna start teeing off onto this, uh, onto this Kyogre with, a, uh, with Thunderbolts. And who's this final mon gonna be? Yo, this is just a GG easy match. Round number one getting buzzing. It's gonna be spec chair. I, I ain't even worried about it. Not even worried about it. Uh, Hailstorm does more. They give me no reason not to go into another Hailstorm. Hailstorm just rips. Base 140. And does Hail make uh, Ice do more damage? I'm not too sure. It should. But do cancel the battle. We go 1 0 and absolutely dominate our first battle. It's time to go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. That first battle was a clean sweep. Kyron Black Dynamaxed him and just ran it. Just two max hailstorms, got back to back KOs, took out his Dynamax Pokemon, and took weather control, made him cancel, and had a perfect battle right there. But second battle coming at you guys, going up against the Solgaleo team alongside Spectre, Grimmsnarl, Tapu Lele, Regilecki, and Rotom Heat. I think I'm going to bring in Kyron Black once again. He's just a great choice here all around. Um, he could set up screens. That is a possibility. Um, I do want to bring Heatran. Heatran could be pretty solid here. Heatran could be nice with the Flash Fire. He can roll out from there. Uh, I'm kind of worried about Solgaleo. That is a, that is always a problem. I think we're just going to lead Kiram. Um, hmm. Who else do I lead? I mean, I could lead Lando. Lando's not a bad lead. Lando's just not a bad lead all around. I think I am going to lead Lando. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of physical attackers. But we do have that Soul Vest on him. I am going to bring Heatran and then in the final spot, do I go Rotom? Do I get a little, little Rotom wash here? I'm liking that. I'm digging it. I don't think we're going to need Cresselia or uh, Amoongus here. Actually, we could go Amoongus for the Clear Smog and the Clear Smog only. But I think we'll be fine. I think we will be fine with this squad. The Amoongus does rock out here. Cresselia is kind of there to like counter up on Trick Room teams and all that. So I really do. I really do dig her. But we're not going up against Trick Room teams. I remember where, I remember when uh, Trick Room was so like prevalent in the meta. Like everybody was rolling in DD Hatterene, setting up Trick Room and getting buzzing from there. And do you guys remember when Durant was a thing? Durant was an absolute beast. He was so strong. He would Dynamax him and he, his ability. I totally forgot what it, what it was. But it made him do more damage, but more likely to miss. But when you're Dynamax, you can't miss. So it was just getting a huge damage boost. But I remember using that. I like ran team or ran people with that. Like I remember I think my highest win streak was with that team. It was like 13 or 14. And I did it when I used to live stream. But dude, the Ram, man. I totally forgot about that, man. He fell off. He was like at the pinnacle of like top tier. Then he's just like, yeet, no one uses him anymore. Dropped right off. But he goes Finny and Grimstone. 
And I might actually just protect this turn. Dying Claw has no effect over on both of them because they're both fairy type. Go for a free shock. Is this a two turn move? But Finny could do work. I might Dynamax. And I could go for a speed boost. I might just do that. And then I could rock slide. I'm thinking of dropping the rock slide. Or maybe just you turning out. Let's you turn out of here. It get, it get wash up in here. I think it's going to be play. Um, I wonder what Finny's going to do. Finny's probably just going to drop a, uh, like a moon blast or something along those lines into my, uh, Kirim. But maybe, just maybe, he's thinking I'm policy. And he's not going to throw it at me. Let's see how this one throws out. I love how he's, he, he's like half ice arm, half dragon arm. It's so dope. That's a cool looking, uh, legendary. Oops, I was going to set up a wonderful light screen. Good thing we're both physical attacking. We're going to get off a nice solid hit here. Here's my Hailstorm. Uh, we should be able to KO the Grimstone. Not just with this, with this and the Rock Slide. Or just that, which is wonderful. So he doesn't get off a light screen. Or, I mean, he does get off a light screen. And we get a crit, which is dope. But he doesn't get off a Reflect, which is nice. Considering, who else do we have in the back? We have Rotom. And who was my final mod? Heatran, which is physical attacking, I think. Maybe special. You turn we're going to pivot out of here. Let's say eat, and we're gonna go get uh, what's called up in here. We are going to get Rotom Wash, buzzing. Is this thing uh physical? And now it's special. Okay, so that's special. The light screen is going to uh pester on those two, but at least our Dynamax Mon isn't gonna be affected by it, which is perfect, wonderful, dandy. Now are you dropping a Moon Blast or what? What's going on with you? Yeah, Moon Blast can come in hot, and yeah, we tank that up. That's a lovely little tank shot. Now I wish we were policy dead at that point. Because that was easy eats. We could have just got mean boosted and ran this battle as well. But yo, Kira Black's hitting like a truck. He's one tapping three Pokemon so far. He's three for three on max Hailstorms. He's going to send out this mine. It's going to be Spectre. And I believe that is going to be Sash. And I think I'm just going to Hailstorm it again. I feel like you give me no reason not to Hailstorm it. And I'm going to drop a Evil? Or do I plot? I could plot. I think a plot could be the player. I, I'm really liking that. I do have a berry still, and I see the uh, Tapu Fini not going after Rotom. But I'm going to try to set up a plot here. And Tapu Fini is going to protect. That's a wonderful turn for us. Bulldozer is going to come through. I have Levitate. I mean, you're just going to slow me down. So, yo, ooh, big plot from Jeans, baby. A big nasty plot, so we're getting boosted with that. Now, now this guy's probably like, "Oh, yo, what's this guy doing?" And I think we're gonna be able to take out Spectre here, no problem. Considering it's a lightweight, it's usually sashed, and we have the buffets going out here, so we should be able to take it out, right? Kieran Black doing people dirty, man, doing people dirty. This thing is sashed, but like I said, the buffets are gonna come out here, take it down, get him out of my face, get him out of here, get him out of here. It still has Dynamax, but, yo. I have one more turn left. I'm going to be able to T-Bolt heavy onto this top Fini slot. Still have my Barry on plus two on special attack with the Rotom. Nice plot set up from Jeans. And then his final mod's going to come out here, which is Solgaleo. So that's going to be his Dynamax mod, and I'm, he's probably worried about me. Could Airstream. But what do I do here? I think Airstream's going to be my best bet. Trying to get Rotom a little bit more speed here. I think it's going to be play. Try to get Rotom a little bit more speed here. And we're going to double up into the uh, Finny slot just in case Rotom doesn't KO because there is a light screen up and about. But I know Finny can't protect again unless it gets lucky and it ends up going for a protect and gets it. But so good is going to Dynamax and I think he's going to go for uh, something up against my uh, Kirim. Right? Yeah, it's definitely the play. And I still have Heatran in the back. And once I get the speed boost, Let's call can have a little bit better speed here. Rotom. Which is dandy. Maybe he can to outspeed that, but I know this thing is uh, definitely policy. It's definitely policy. And I still have Lando in the back. I, I, I U turned from the beginning. And he's going to go for a quake that's over onto my uh, Kirim, which Kirim should be able to eat up, right? Yeah, all day, baby. He does get that special defense boost, which is pretty big. It's going to help him out. So now we have a screen and a special defense boost, but I still think we should be able to take out this top of Finny, no problem. Get this T-Bolt over here. 
get that actually i don't know will we be able to take this out haze is gonna come out here drop a haze you're crazy man all stat changes were eliminated uh that actually that just takes away their special defense boost which is good for us okay you know what yo i'll take that all day we get a speed boost uh rotom has no what's it called no special attack boost anymore my Pokemon are actually faster, so Kyurem's going to be able to get off another turn here. Which is wonderful. Because he's not minus one on the uh, speed anymore. He's plus one. He has no special defense boost anymore. So I'm going to be free to drop some Hydro Pumps to get after it like that. Where do I go for the Paras? I mean, we have nothing to really lose here. I'm going to go for the Paras here. I'm going to go for a Free Shock. And... What a Thunderbolt. I think I'll go for Paras, man. Try to paralyze this thing up. And I'm just testing out Free Shock here because I really don't know what it does. If it's two turns or if it's a one turn move, Free Shock can come out here. Are we like charging energy? We came cloaked in a freezing light. So do we disappear? Thunderbolt comes out here. Do we get a para? That's what I'm looking for. We do not get it. And a Max Steel Spike is going to come through here. That's going to hit me and take me out. So I'm confused. What does it mean by I'm cloaked in the freezing light? Like, what I thought it was is like I'm invisible. I don't know, but let me know in the comment section down below if you guys know. Maybe it gives me more evasiveness. But since he's on max, he can't miss. But I could go Heat Tram, but I'm going to save Heat Tram for the back. I can, for right now, I can actually go into free EQs. While what's called out here. While I have uh, Rotom's Levitate out here, I can drop some free EQs. It's probably going to proc policy, but we got to start getting after it. The Hydro Pump, or do I go for that Protect, or that, uh... I'm going for that Power again. I think Power is to play. Because so, base power isn't, like, a significant difference. I'd rather get that chance of Power here. And Hydro Pump can miss more. So. But that is the Gene's call right there. That is the Gene's call. Yeah, I don't mind proc and policy right now. Thunderbolt's going to come out here. And we're going to get the Power. Now we're not going to get the Power. And a Steel Spike is going to come through here. He's going to get that boost. That's probably going to KO me, right? Does not. So it's going to get that defense boost. Luckily, we have two special attackers on our team. EQ is going to come out here. Landos are physical. We have Heatran and Rotom as our special attackers. And that's not going to do a lot because of the defense boost. And there's the policy proc. There's the policy proc that I was so ever scared of. If I was him, I would Oh, no. He's probably going to go after the Lando here. Probably gonna go after Lando and the light screen wears off. Finally, we can do a little bit more damage. Maybe we get this power off so we can actually get off another EQ here. Because if we do get this paralyzed, the EQ is gonna come in hot. Let's go. Give me this power. Slow this boy down. Oh, we should be fine. We should kind of have this one wrapped up. Because now that the light screen's gone, Rotom's gonna be able to do more damage and I think he can take out in two shots. Let's see. Yeah. That's going to be GG's. Unless he's eating berry, but nah, he's already policy proc. He goes for the rock side, looking for the double kill. He gets one of us. Rotom's still alive. Rotom's going to be able to outspeed T-Bolt and come out here, pick up the win. And we still had our berry, man. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about our berry. That's the best. When you forget about a berry and then you eat it later, and you're like, yeah, dude, now I got some more HP. <laughs> but throwing out our final mod, it's going to be Heatran. And this is going to be GG's. GG's. Easy match for you, boy. Uh, we're just going to go into a heat wave here and drop a nice little T-Bolt. This guy's probably going to cancel. Keep his Solgaleo alive. Unless he's going to risk maybe me missing attacks. Nope, he cancels. And we start off 2-0. Your boy's feeling real good. He's feeling good right now. We're sitting at 2-0. Dominated our first two battles. Looking to get that 3-0 perfect record in our third and final battle. Going up against a Sandstorm, Tyranitar team alongside with Sandrush, Exodrill, Ho-Oh, Amoongus, Celestia, and Rotom Wash. All right. I see you. So he's probably going to try to get weather going. I definitely want to bring in Intimidate Lando here. That could be really good considering he has a, um, his base like Pokemon. His like, main core, the Tyranitar and x they're both physical attackers. So I think I'm going to lead the Lando, try to get that buzz in there and roll in after it. Um, I definitely want to bring Heatran in here, but I don't think I want to lead the Heatran. I kind of want to lead this Rotom. kind of want to lead the Rotom. Could that be good? Uh, let me check uh, Cresselia's moves once again. I know it's Moonlight. Okay, Helping Hand, Moon Blast. Um, do I bring it? I could actually do, like, something like this. I could go Kiram, Cresselia. Lando. Because I can Helping Hand and just try to get mean damage rolling. 
And then do I go Heatran? I think Heatran's gonna be the better better option here. So then we have Flash Fire. We can roll off from there. And we can do damage on the Celestia and the extra roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeans is like liking that a lot. I'm liking that a lot. But yeah, do you guys ever like when you're sitting down for a little bit? Your one, like, your leg fall asleep, like the back of your thigh? I don't know. It could just be me. Like, I don't know why. It's happening right now to me. The back of my thigh just has, like, that fuzzy, staticky feeling. Like, where it's, like, falling asleep. I get that when I'm, like, doing long car rides or if I'm driving for a little bit. But I've legit been sitting down for, like, 30 minutes. And I'm getting it. So, maybe I should call a doctor. I really don't know. <laughs> but he goes Ho-Oh and Celestia, which I, I dig it. I dig it a lot. I'm Dynamaxing again. I don't think I won't Dynamax on you. Do I Hailstorm? Hmm. Do I Drop Attack? Are any of these guys physical? Oh, it might be. So I might just Worm one over onto it. I might just Helping Hand here. This is exactly what I'm going to do. It's Helping Hand onto the Kyurem. Get a Worm Wind rolling. Start buzzing with it. And uh, Kyurem's speed is actually really, really nice. It's 160 something. We showed it off, I think, in the beginning. I think I did. I'm not too sure. But I, I checked him out. It's like 160 something. So he's decent and he hits really, really hard. I, I'm actually really surprised at how, how strong this Pokemon actually is. And why a lot more people aren't using it. These battles have been pretty easy. I kind of just been rolling out here, Dynamax and Kyurem, and buzzing from there. I'm gonna drop a helping hand, give that attack boost alongside with the uh, Life Orb. So massive damage should be coming out of here. We should be able to take out this ho no problem. Right? Get it out my face, dude. Oh my lord. This team. Team is buzzing. We get that attack drop, but I, I believe this thing's special attacking. It might seed up on me. It might drop a trickle. That could be an option. He's gonna go for a meteor beam. Hey, 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 yo! I didn't say you could do that. <laughs> yo, this thing's gonna hit like an absolute truck. It's gotta be power herb, right? Yeah. Yo, hit my Cresselia, please. Do it. Hit my Cresselia. Okay, we we actually ate that up decently well. We ate that up decently well. So we got the waste of power herb. We know we outspeed. Um, I'm not really worried about that uh Celeste Steel. Like I said, don't I have Ro I think I have Rotom in the back. Or do I have Lando and no, I do not have Rotom. Let me go out with Tyranitar. In that case, I'm changing up weather and I'm hitting that thing. I'm hitting that thing. If you were smart, you would have went Excadrill here and then swapped the Tyranitar into Celeste Steel spot. But now I'm just canceling out your weather and uh tell you to go home. I'm gonna help a hand again. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna say, hey, yo, Sandstorm, knock it off. Knock it off, Sandstorm. I wish I had a fighting move. This fighting is four times uh, super effective to Tyranitar. That's like his main weakness. So if you see Tyranitars, get out a fighting Pokemon. Like if you have Urshfu on your team, start Urshfu, hit him with a hard punch, it will take him out one shot. Close combat, it can take out a Dynamax Tyran Tyranitar, no problem. And he can hit through protect. So Tyranitar's biggest fear is inertia poo. That just counters him like perfectly. Let's see what he goes into. He's gonna end up ooh, he's gonna end up Dynamax Tyranitar. Or is it Celestia? Might be Tyranitar, but still we're gonna change up the weather, which is huge. And he could drop a rock. This is gonna be the Tyranitar. He's probably policy. Thinking I'm gonna go into maybe like a moon blast. Proc that policy, but nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. We gotta get off some damage here. We gotta we gotta get rolling off this Tyranitar slot. Helping hand's gonna drop again. I'm liking this Cresselia with the helping hand. Just boosting this Kyrim's attack. Here goes my Hailstorm for the weather change and trying to get off some big damage on this thing. Let's see how much we do. Yo, I like that a lot. On a Dynamax Tyranitar, doing that much, that's lovely. Please don't drop a rock. I ask you kindly, maybe go for a darkness. Let's see what you do. Just for a flash can there. And oh, Kyrim goes down. Rough. I want him to survive one more turn. He gets after me. He takes me out there. That's totally fine. As long as he doesn't change weather here. Beast Bruce is popping. That's a little scary. And don't go for a rock. He goes for a darkness. Cool. He goes for a darkness. We gotta take him out next turn. And that's gonna probably take me out. No, it does not. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm with this. I'm with this. Special defense gets dropped. I think we're just like sitting here. Oh, don't go down. Lovely. Lovely Cresselia. And I think Celestial... That, no, I was going to say, is it using leftovers now? I had that power up. I can't go into this. I could just EQ. I'm going to Heatran. Heatran's not a bad call here. Hmm. 101. I think both these guys are super, super slow. So I'm thinking I can legit go into a Moonblast. 
and a Heat Wave to do damage on Celestial Slot and still take out the Tyranitar. What's Cresselia's speed? Did Cresselia go? Cresselia only went first because of uh, the what's it called? 105. I think we're still out speed both these guys. Oh, I'm not gonna go for it. Heat Wave. I'm just gonna go for that Moon Blast. Let's go. Show me out speed. Only reason Cresselia was going first because helping hands is priority. Just gets that. Just gets that little zest. I know we're out speed and Celestia. So that Tyranitar scared me a little bit, but Cresselia goes first. Oh, and I don't think we're taking out with that Heat Wave now. And we brought policy, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We should have doubled up into, into Tyranitar. Give me a crit on Tyranitar slot. Give me a burn. Give me a burn, at least. Give me a burn. Yes. <laughs> we get a burn. All right. I can help us out a little bit. Flash Cannon's going to come out here over on Cresselia. Take me out. And he might. He's probably going to change up weather again. Or is he going to go for a ground move and Shuka Berry's going to help us out here? Go for a ground move. Changes up weather, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eat this. We do eat. Yo, dude, the burn is legit clutching up for us. Okay. Um, he changed up weather. I think x is going to be his final mon. Burn's going to take him out, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. We still outspeed. Oh, my lord. I was going to say, we could have a uh, an intimidate for that. Uh, for that, what's it called? With an extra drill. Because he has to have extra on the back. I'm not worried about that uh that Tyrantar. Because I'm gonna count on this heat wave actually connecting onto him. So I'm gonna drop a heat wave and I think I drop a rock slide. Just in case a heat wave misses one of them. Or vice versa if rock slide misses one of them. We're just gonna go in with the double hitting moves here. Dude, this is gonna be a good battle. This is gonna be a real good battle here. We have a speed right now. We have speed. Heat wave or Celestial is going to protect, which is totally fine. Should be able to take out Tyranitar, no problem. Your rock slide comes through. It's blocked. Hit the Tyranitar, please. Just hit him so I don't have to worry about this later. It does. Cool. Tyranitar, out in face. Get out of here. Okay. Now here's a problem. Here's our problem. He's going to throw out extra. He has Sand Rush rolling. He has Sand Rush rolling. And what he does, what he could do with that, he could drop an EQ. But then Lando eats up. Yeah, there's the Exca. Yo, solid battle here. Solid third and final battle. Okay, uh, Heat Wave's gotta come out here. What do I protect? Do I protect T-Tran? I think we just gotta get it after his Heat Wave. Has no effect on Celestial, so I'm just gonna drop a Rock Slide. Honestly, this thing could be sashed. I could see it being sashed. A lot of them do roll out with sash. Or it could be orbed. I think I have the rock side here. I think I have the rock side here. Try to take out the Celestial. Rock side can come out from him. Lando avoids it. I might be able to eat this up with a Heatran. I do. That's going to be game. It's going to be game. He is life orb. That's going to be game. If Heat Wave connects here, yo, that's game. Ouch, dude. Are you kidding me? We flinched. Dude, we flinched there. I'm going to protect. I'm going to EQ. We flinched, bro. We just lost because of the flinch. What you mean? Yo, that was our one chance and we flinched. Dodge it, Lando. Lando, dodge it. He gets flinched, we get a dodge. Hate this game. Hate this game so much, man. E like, I get we dodged the first rock slide, but we were eating that up regardless. We were eating that one up. All we needed was that heat wave connect. That would have been GG's. That would have been GG's, and we wouldn't went perfect record 3 0. But I'm going I'm to keep my heat train alive. We're going to run this one. Solid battle here. We end up going 2 1 for today's video and have all around great battles. This Kieran Black team right here impressed me so much. This thing was one tap Pokemon left and right. Every time I Dynamax, I was hitting like a truck, especially with Helping Hand coming up with it and giving it that damage boost. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And above all else, have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.